Husband neglects me, prioritizes his family's needs over mine, and pushes me to my breaking point in front of his entire family. I'm a 35 years. Of married to a 38 years. Oh, man. We have been together for 10 years and have two children, nine and five. My husband works very hard. He has multiple jobs he works throughout the week. Recently, we had a discussion about taking time off and spending some time together. It is difficult because of things in his past. He accumulated a lot of debt, which is why he works so much. I work 60 plus hours a week and take care of the household and childcare things while much of his income goes to paying his debts. I keep up with the household. I do the housework and lawn work, repairs, etc., and he contributes where he can. Within this year, he has taken time off for family and coworker events. He has scheduled time to take trips with his friends, and when he does so, I'm the designated babysitter. Many days after he gets home, he is responsible for his parents. He takes them grocery shopping, fixes things at their household, and does some of their housework. I forgot to mention he is one of five and all four siblings live close to his parental home. His parents assist in child care for his siblings but not for ours. I've told him my frustrations of being consistently placed on the back burner. The other day I lost it, I found out he invited his family to our house for a family reunion last week. I thought he took time off of work and he didn't. The house was a mess, and most of the mess is his. I was expected to clean the house, get the groceries, run the kids to their weekend events. Start cooking and get the reunion set up as he set the time for 4 p.m. the time he gets out of work. The kids are helpful in doing their chores and cleaning their rooms. I got the house clean and by the time his family started pouring and I was stewing as he was at work. He asked me why there weren't any clean towels as he was going to take a shower and I freaked out in front of his whole family. I ran down the list of how I'm always on the back burner for these people how I am one person and I'm the one contributing to the household while he works just to pay off his debts, how I have no security or support in this relationship and that he is like having another child and that all I feel like I'm worth is an occasional fuck whenever he is in the mood. I let it all out. I ended with him done, I packed a bag and I took off. I'm sat in a parking lot hysterical. And no the kids weren't present they were outside playing. He is a good father to the kids but as a husband I feel like I am better off by myself. I have so much resentment towards him. And no he hasn't called he texted me loud and clear which made me even more angry because this is exactly how he deals with everything. I'm now feeling like an asshole for going off and saying all I did especially in front of his family. Ida? Update 1 after the loud and clear text I was bombarded with phone calls and texts from his family. I sent a message to my husband to give me some space and if he had any care for me in this relationship to call off his dogs. I put my phone on do not disturb with the exception of my children's iPad. I had called my mother, sent her some money and she picked them up for a special grandma date slash sleepover. Once they were there I FaceTimed them and told them I was working. I'm not working. I had a secret rainy day fund and splurged on a nice hotel and spa day, had a few drink, cried my eyes out some more and just spent the day unplugged and journaled all my feelings. I haven't had time to do any of that in a very long time. After that I mustered up the courage to open Reddit and read my fate and wow was I surprised. I was fully expecting a ton of you are the asshole comments. To clear up a few things. I shamefully do not know the lengths of his debts, much of it was from his parents putting bills in his name, others is just mismanagement of money credit cards, etc. I took over the finances after I found a letter in the mail saying that we were going to lose the house. I was contributing to the household bills at the time and he was doing the finances. I trusted things were well. This was after marriage and after kids. We went to counseling because of it and he said he was ashamed and afraid to tell me the truth. I took over about three years ago and I told him to focus on clearing his debt and I'd hold the household down while he did. I did not expect it to take this long and with inflation everything has just become more expensive and that much more hard for me. I was supposed to go back to school and that was put on hold so I could catch up on what we were behind, hence the working 60 plus hours. I'm a nurse and I work 12 hour shifts and capitalize on overtime where I can. I agree with the comment saying I'm burnt out, I realized this today. I realized at work or at home I'm constantly in critical thinking caregiver mode. My job is to care and problem solve for everyone but myself. To clear up the comment of his family doesn't watch our kids is because they did so one time and threw it in our faces and I said never again. I see how they use him, I have said something before and he returns with one day they won't be here and I'll wish I could have done more. I told him that's fine but you have siblings that are equally responsible, some that don't have spouses or kids that can contribute. As far as the house and things go he does really help when he can, don't jump on me I just want to be truthful, I think it came across that he comes home and does nothing, he just works up to 16 hours 7 days a week so a lot of times it's me doing the majority of it. As far as the trips goes. Yeah. That's a sore spot, he tells me about them, he takes the day off, it pisses me off. I have to beg for time and if and when we do get it we end up in a fight or I have to plan everything or we can't get sitters and sit home and he sleeps all day. And, to be honest I'm so full of resentment that it's almost too little too late. Like when I'm around him I'm just so pissed off. He says I always have an attitude and that he's trying but nothing is ever good enough. So, I just stopped and accepted my fate, hence the blow up. I haven't spoken to him yet besides telling him to call off his family. He was part of the DND on my phone. I'm enjoying the peace, I'm enjoying being by myself, and just being present and aware of my feelings.
Knowing my kids are safe and I can truly take some time for myself and my mental health right now is everything. I know tomorrow I have to go back to reality and deal with everything. I promise to update when I can. I'm sorry to leave you all hanging if this isn't the update you had hoped for. I just want to enjoy this escape a little while longer while I can before my world implodes. Update 2 I did call my husband this morning. I could tell by his voice he didn't sleep last night and he confirmed that he in fact did not. He told me after the blow up he asked everyone to leave. He was surprised to see my mother as I sent her to pick up the kids. He said that's when it really became real. We had a long conversation. I did apologize for exploding and doing so when I did and not communicating better. He said he understands why I felt like I couldn't and was actually glad it happened the way it did. His family finally got to see how much they affected his home. According to him, after I left he laid into them and told them that he can no longer be the only one to help his family out and that a lot of the mess he's in is their fault. He said that after the blow up he told his siblings they need to step up and help with his parents. His parents were obviously upset with the whole ordeal. I couldn't care less to be honest. They couldn't believe that they are such a burden because they ask for a little help from time to time. I just rolled my eyes in disgust as he was talking. My new spa, say along with my feelings of hurt and anger just let me speak all my truths. I had nothing left to give or lose so I told him how I felt about everything. He sat in silence for a while, then finally broke down and said he feels like a failure. He's ashamed of the debt, and how much he has let us down. He said he was exhausted and has been feeling depressed because he couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel and feels as though he's ruined our future. That he goes out with his friends to feel normal in himself because all he does is work. That he does this because of this black cloud that's been hanging over him. I wasn't my best self in this moment and told him to save me the self-pity it's pathetic. That he got himself into this mess and I'm digging him out. I'm fucking depressed too, there's a ton of shit I want to do that I can't do because I'm financially unable to do so. I went off how over the past three years his income has gone solely to debt repayment yet there's no end in sight, because I haven't even seen the so-called debt. I've given him my all and as much support as I could gather but I'm angry. This isn't the life I pictured or set myself up for either. It's not the life my kids deserve, I've missed out on so much because I'm working or I'm cleaning or I'm just so tired I can't even open my eyes. I told him he has no one to blame but himself. I think my disdain was concerning. He said he will show and prove, that he will print out his credit report and list out all the debt he has along with all his pay stubs and bank records and the receipts of what's paid off and whatever else I want as far as his finances are concerned. He promised me my hard work was not in vain and that he is almost debt free. Come to find out his parents opened credit cards and bills in his name when he was younger and accrued close to 100k of debt in his name, not including interest, they trashed his credit and that's why it has taken so long. According to him, he has, been fighting with the collection companies to settle, trying to consolidate or get a lower interest as it was multiple companies and debts. What I didn't know is some were so bad his wages were being garnished. He was in tears and said he didn't know how to tell me, that he didn't even know the extent of what they did. He was basically working all these hours with nothing to take home to us and accruing more debt just to survive. I stayed silent. My blood was boiling. He didn't even realize he just helped me make my decision. He jokingly said my outburst took care of the family situation and that is why he texted me loud and clear meaning he and they got the message I told him I didn't find it funny. It's a shame that it took an outburst from me for everyone to hear what I've been saying all along. That he's an idiot for not filing charges on his parents and just taking it up the ass and allowing it to ruin my life and the children we created lives. I told him he's aping aliens and I feel so stupid. He said he didn't call me because he knew how mad I was and was scared he would say the wrong thing and say things just like that. I thanked him for the honesty in the conversation and told him I am so broken angry and hurt right now that I can't even pick up my pieces let alone his. Right now I need to clear my head. He said he's willing to do whatever it takes to turn this around, he even suggested marriage counseling. He told me he used his PTO and took the rest of the week off to work on this. I lost it and sobbed uncontrollably. If it was that easy to take time off, why now and not then? I asked him why didn't I matter before we got here? Why now? I told him he needs the time off to find counseling both personal and legal that I won't be coming home. He asked me if I was serious, he begged me to rethink my decision. He said all the things I've been wanting to hear. He asked me where I was going to go, and what about the kids and the house and the bills. That I, couldn't tear the kids from the only home they know. I simply replied I know this is what needs to be done and I've already set the ball in motion. He hung up on me. I cried then went to get the kids. We are going to have a wonderful week in a somewhat fancy hotel and swim in the pool and order room service and make some memories. I took some of the money I had saved in my rainy day fund and extended my hotel stay to include me and the kids. I have an awful lot to catch up on with them. The look on their faces when I said no mommy doesn't have to work tonight was priceless I also have an appointment with legal consultants tomorrow. Hopefully I can talk to a lawyer and figure out what's next.